the JAMA Network. This video demonstrates my technique of reconstruction of the nasoceptal L strut in the case of a severely compromised crooked nose. This young woman approached me with the desire for improved breathing as well as a straighter appearance of her nose and improvement of her profile. Her caudal septum was severely deviated toward the left side and more angulated than could be restored by just repositioning or camouflage techniques. She also desired to have some improvement of her profile and felt that her tip was under-rotated and stuck out too far from her face. The procedure was approached through an external rhinoplasty approach. The septum was separated from the lower and upper lateral cartilages and the caudal ventral component of the septum resected preserving only a midline dorsal remnant. The remainder of the septum was very deviated and off-center. A conservative dorsal hump reduction was undertaken, and an interoperative picture shows the resection of septal cartilage with a plan for a side-to-side -side septal caudal reconstruction. The grafts were cut into the proper pieces, including a large splinting graft, a flanking spreader graft on the opposite side, and the caudal septal reconstruction which would replace the angulated caudal septum. The procedure was continued with placement of a large splinting graft, which was positioned in the same location as a spreader graft. The dorsal ventral dimensions were quite larger than a typical spreader graft, given the supportive role that this graft would take. The dorsal edge was coplanar with the lowered dorsal remnant, which had been reduced to alleviate the dorsal hump. This caudal septal portion was replaced into the same position. It was deemed appropriate since it was relatively straight to simply be placed as an end-to-end -end graft, despite the initial planning from the previous preoperative picture. This was placed with several interrupted 5.0 PDS horizontal mattress sutures and stabilized end-to-end -end and fixated side-to-side -side with the splinting graft. It was then stabilized through a transverse drill hole at the base of the nasal spine with a 5.0 clear nylon suture and stabilized on the opposite side along the dorsal component with the opposite spreader graft. The areas of contact include the spreader grafts, the caudal replacement graft, the dorsal remnant, and the opposite splinting graft. And here the upper lateral cartilages are reconstituted onto this graft. This was a particularly satisfying case as the caudal septal component was completely uh, replaced into its original position except for alleviation of the original angulation, which was too great to be corrected by a less uh, involved technique. A tongue and groove fixation of the medial and intermediate cura onto the caudal replacement graft is now being executed. These four plain gut sutures were reinforced with nylon intercrural sutures. The results show a straighter nose, both on the frontal and base views, with a more open airway. The profile shows partial reduction of the hump and deprojection and elevation of the tip, as per the patient's desire and preoperative imaging. This case represents a typical reconstruction of the nasoceptal L strut.